Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I am Amber and this is a channel all about plus size fashion, beauty, and lifestyle. Today we have part two of the Target Fall Haul. If you haven't seen part one, I will link it right above here as well as down in the comment section. Um, so check that one out. It's just kind of a continuation or actually we're doing a continuation now of what that was, which was a lot of outerwear, shoes, and regular clothing. I haven't really done outerwear and shoes on this channel, so this was kind of exciting to venture into that. Let me know if that's something that you guys want me to continue, um, or if you're like, nah, I'm good. <laughs> so today, um, I don't need to say much besides we all love Target, and this is kind of a, a variety of pickings from the different brands at Target. If you didn't know, Target, most of their brands do go up to 4X online. Um, you can get Avon Viv in store, but there is an additional assortment online. And then Universal Thread, A New Day, Who, What, Where, those are all available up to a 4X online as well. So without further ado, let's get into it. As a reminder, here are my measurements. I am 5'6". I wear about a size 22 and I'm straight from the front but curvy from the side. So a curvy rectangle. This next outfit is ready for the pumpkin patch. We've got this cute orange sweatshirt and then these bootcut jeans. This sweatshirt is the quilted three-quarter sleeve sweatshirt. I'm wearing a size 2X in the color dark orange. It is a poly span and it was $25. So this is super cute. It's a nice, easy, relaxed fit, drop shoulder. It's a crew neck with a rib band as well as rib at the bottom as well. And then the fabric itself has all this little like triangle quilting, which is really cool. Um, there is shearing along the edge of the sleeve. And then there is also a rib band down here. They do say three quarter sleeve. I'm finding it's more a little bit past elbow, um, but I don't mind the length at all. It's still really cute. The length hits about mid hip when it's fully extended, but if you want any loose on to it, um, then it is kind of high hip, I guess. Uh, the fabric is just a little bit scratchy on the inside, so you might want to wear like a cami or something underneath it. And then paired back to the sweatshirt, I have the high rise boot cut jean. I'm wearing a size 20 in the color light wash and they are a cotton poly span and they were $29.99. As you may already know, super excited for flares and boot cuts to come back in style. So I am absolutely loving these. They are a high rise, which is my favorite. Actually, the only rise that I'll wear. <laughs> I'm not messing around with mid rise or low rise. And trust me, as I've been doing research on the runway, there is so much low rise happening that it's like breaking my heart. I'm like, <clears throat> who approved this? Like we've been inside for a year and a half because of COVID. So all of us have gained our little COVID bellies and now you wanna to try to sell us low rise jeans? I don't know about that people. I just don't know. <laughs> so these are high rise, love them. They are in super stretchy fabric that has a nice cotton hand and weight to it. And then you do get this nice boot cut. Um, it's actually a pretty generous boot cut. I would say it's like kind of borderline flare. And the wash is like this light medium wash that is very authentic and looks kind of like perfectly aged and worn in. Uh, there is a little bit of grinding at the pocket, at the hem, and then otherwise just a clean pair of jeans. I do think that these are super cute and I love them back to boots, but I also think that they could look good with sneakers. So I'll show you what those are like um, in a second, but first I want to actually show you what little outerwear piece I could wear with this. So this little cutie is actually from the Target designer collab that they just had. And um, this is from the designer Sandy Lang. And it is so cute, this little cream puffer. 
It's actually two different types of fabric. So the top is like a mat, and then the bottom is more of a pearlized. And then you get this really fun little pop of color in the zipper, this light pink. And then the lining, the sleeve, well, let me see, the sleeve lining and then the facing, oh no, it's all the linings, um, or the snake print as well. The length is low hip, which is nice. And then there are pockets, they're on the side seams. For me, that seems a little bit tricky. It's like, I always want them a little bit more forward. Um, but and actually, let me know down below too. Do you guys like pockets at side seams or would you rather have them a little bit closer to the front? Uh, but otherwise, yeah, this one is super cute. I, it does not have a hood, but it does have like a funnel collar, which is nice. And, um, yeah, I think this one's really pretty and I like the neutral so then you can wear it back to all your kind of like more colorful items underneath it. And here's what it looks like with sneakers. And for me, the length is absolutely perfect where they're not dragging all over the floor in a sneaker, but then they still look good with a boot um, or like a small heel. So these are really great. And actually I'll tell you a little bit more about these sneakers. So these are the Maria sneakers. They are a universal thread branded sneaker. And I am wearing a size 10, just a regular width. And the color is multicolor. And these really have like a nice little, like almost bowling shoe retro vibe to them. They've got a mixture of suede and faux leather. And I feel like I could maybe size down one to nine and a half um, because they do feel pretty generous and I do have a lot of space from my toe to the edge. Um, but I love kind of these more jewel tone, it's almost like a dusty jewel tone colors that pop up on here. And yeah, I don't know, they just have a retro vibe to them that I'm definitely living for. This next jacket is from Universal Thread and it is the quilted jacket. I'm wearing a size 2X in the color cream. It is a cotton poly, no, I'm sorry, a cotton rayon blend, and it was $34.99. So I'm obsessed with this jacket. Uh, it is kind of very like homemade crafted vibe to it. And it's got this vertical stitch quilting and then the actual print itself looks like a patchwork print. Um, so that's really cute. It's like you're not having to pay for each of these pieces to be patchworked on, but it very much looks like a patchwork. So that's really cute. The length is definitely shorter. It has a curved hem, which is nice. And then loops and buttons all the way down. There is no collar, no collar, um, but it just kind of goes straight from the neck all the way down. And then the back, there is elastic here at the back, kind of waist hem. I'm not quite sure the point of that, to be honest, because <laughs> if you pull it all the way down, maybe it's just for extra ease, um, but mine likes to like kind of come up to the smallest part of my waist. And then I'm just getting a lot of puff in the back, so not quite sure, but not mad at it, just not sure <laughs> about it. Ultimately, I love this so much and uh, I think it's a perfect kind of layering jacket. Uh, you, I mean, you could definitely do it as like an outfit completer, but you could even like throw it on top of something if you're going outside as the weather's changing. So really versatile and super cute. For this next outfit, I am wearing, um, and I won't speak to them too much because I feel like I've probably told you about them already, but these are the high rise Ava and Viv skinny jeans. So I can link those below. Um, but the top is a crew neck plaid flannel puff sleeve smock top. <laughs> All the things, right? And uh, let me untuck it for you. Okay, so I'm obsessed with this top. It is a flannel fabric, so kind of like the fabric you would wear for your favorite button down shirt. Uh, it's the same fabric in here. So that's a little unexpected, but I love it. Um, just 
know that there are some solid colors online of this style. Those, the solids are in a different fabric. So not the soft brush flannel, it's different. So both of them are good fabrics, just a little bit different. Uh, the length of this is pretty long. It's at low hip, it's got a crew neck. There is a little detail here at the shoulder um, of just like seaming. And then you get this puff sleeve with a lot of fullness and then smocked at the cuff. So if you do want to push it up on your arm, you can do that. You don't have to worry about reaching, like it's really comfortable. So I love that detail for sure. For me, I'd probably half tuck it or full tuck it, wear it back to jeans, you know, whether they're skinny jeans, whether they're straight legs, boot cut, um, even overalls could be really cute. And I'm obsessed with this plaid coloring. So it's kind of like this olive -y tone and then this mint green um it's almost like an aqua so yeah super beautiful and i feel like it's perfect for this transitional season it doesn't feel too fall but it definitely doesn't feel summer either so love this one a lot okay so i've thrown this next jacket on over it this is the knit wrap coat i'm wearing a size 2x in the color blue it's 100% poly and it was $60. So this is an open, I think it looks really cute, open and relaxed, but you can also button it. So there's a button here at the waist and then it creates this, I don't think I did that button right. <laughs> Let's try this again. There's a button here at the waist and then where does it go? Let's see, so if I button it there, okay. So I guess it just flips down. And then this one wraps over. You get this really beautiful kind of wide lapel from it. And then this one does have a waist tie. So there we go. So I think this one is really cute. I love, I don't know, I just love the look of the wide lapel. And then it does hit at a good length the belt gives definition to the waist. The fabric itself is comfortable and it's actually got this little twill line. So you get kind of this heather effect. There you go. Um, and it's like a bluish gray tone. Yeah, I think this one's really cute. It does have pockets. I don't know if I mentioned that. Once again, they're at the side seam. I might, like this one's not bad by any means. I might try to size up if I want a little bit more like A-line at the hip, but otherwise I think this one is really cute and I actually love it back to dark jeans and the white booties, um, but I think you can wear it back to a lot of different things for sure. So this next one is the Fashion Rain Coat. I'm wearing a size 2X in the color rose. It is a cotton recycled poly fabric and it was $50. First of all, I am obsessed with the color of this jacket. I think that this kind of, it's definitely a orange casted red rose tone, but there's a lot of saturation and vibrancy to it. So it's gonna like definitely stand out, but not be like too attention getting, I guess, I don't know. It's like the perfect, the perfect balance of attention. Um, it hits at the knee pretty much. And then the fabric is that kind of traditional trench fabric, brushed cotton feeling. Long sleeve pockets. These pockets are super comfortable because they're not just at the side seam. They do have this little cutaway patch. And then this one is double breasted snaps for closure. And then you do get this tie belt. So here you go. Um, same kind of theme. I think my hip's a little bit bigger for the 2X. Um, so I can definitely snap this close. Um, but when I go to belt it, I do get a little pulling right here. So I could just choose not to snap the bottom snap. And that would definitely help give a little bit more ease through that hip. That's kind of my little tip there. If you're ever wearing like a trench that's belted, just, just undo that bottom button and give yourself the ease you need. 
Um, especially if the rest of the body fits you really well, then that's a really good kind of little cheater hack right there. I think this one is super cute. I love the color, like I said, and I actually have it paired back to the dark skinny jeans and then these little Reebok sneakers that have hits of this like aquamarine blue and then the same kind of red uh, shows up in their little logo and on the front as well. So it's kind of a nice tie through. Uh, let me tell you a little bit more about the sneakers. These are the Reebok Nano Flex TR training shoes in the color white, twisted coral, and digital glow. They were originally $90, but they were on sale for $49.99, and I'm wearing a size 10. So I've had a lot of great luck in sneakers today from Target. Um, obviously these ones aren't Target, but the size 10 seems to fit me quite perfectly. The width is fine, the length is good. Um, I love the pops of color on here. I do get concerned that this material is gonna get kind of dirty quick, so I'll have to keep an eye on that. But otherwise, they're really comfortable, and I think they're a perfect fashion sneaker. I don't know, I mean, they're called training shoes, so I assume, you know, I could walk, run, jump, all those things in them. Um, but yeah, I think these ones are definitely cute. So I also got another pair of sneakers. I know, like how many white sneakers do I need? <laughs> Let me know down below which one I should keep because I'm having a hard time deciding. <laughs> but these ones are the Ruby sneakers in the color tan in a size 10 and kind of all the things I loved about the first white pair with the little red hit at the back, um, I love about these. I actually love the color mix as well. Um, all these kind of neutral taupey tans with this like blush um, detail and lace on there is really cute. And I think this could go back to a lot of things, you know, from like this jacket here to that sweatsuit that I had tried on earlier. So this one's definitely fun and I kind of want to keep these two. <laughs> Out of all the shoes I tried on today, all of them were pretty much winners. I only had issues with one and those are these little cuties here. So once again, they weren't offered in wide width. These are actually offered in like a bazillion colors, a whole bunch of like nude tones, um, as well as a couple fashion colors, I think like pink and snake. So the fact that like they invested in these so heavily, but didn't offer a wide width is really disappointing to me. They do have this little elastic thing here, but with that being said, it stretches maybe an inch. I don't know. That doesn't seem like that much. Um, I couldn't even wiggle my foot in um, past this top one, like it would get stuck. So there's no way it was getting all the way down. So yeah. And I'm sad because I actually loved the thickness of the heel. The height was perfect. And then it's like a nice option for kind of a dressier shoe. And I don't really have any of those right now. So Womp womp. I definitely thought they'd be cute back to this uh, next shirt jacket as well, but I opted for my little white booties. Those are my go-tos. <laughs> so this is the belted shirt jacket. I'm wearing a size 2X. It's in the color pink. It's a poly rayon span and it was $34.99. So I love the idea of this. I think it's really cute. Um, it's supposed to have kind of this oversized fit, which at the top it does. Um, it's got little horn buttons. And then um, it's got a shirt tail hem here. So longer in the front, picks up at the side and then dips down in the back. And then the flannel itself is really cute. This pink and white plaid. There's a pocket on both sides. And here it is buttoned. It gets a little bit too tight at, I guess, kind of both the waist and the hip for me. Um, and then, you know, obviously, what's the point of the tie if there's nothing to cinch it in? So I think for me, I'd probably size up one 
Um, I know it's going to be really big in like the arm and the shoulder, but apparently, apparently, this is not in Target's spec for a 2X. So um, I think it is cute worn open. So I mean, even if I decided not to have the belt and then just kind of wear it open or maybe tie the belt in the back. Let's see. It gets a little tricky sometimes um, to like give a little bit of shaping on the sides. That might be cute. I don't know. What do you guys think? I'm unsure. All right, guys, that wraps up part two of our Target haul. So many fun things for fall. I think my favorite was maybe the orange sweatshirt. I might actually get that in a couple different colors because it's just so easy to throw on and it's perfect when it's like chilly but not too hot outside. So yeah, that one's definitely a keeper for me. Let me know down below which ones were your favorites. And as always, thank you guys for stopping by and letting me play dress up. And please comment, like, subscribe, share, and come back for more. See you next time.